Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be certainly one of the more interesting, one of the more debatable, one of the more controversial videos of the year. It's finally time for the first Old Firm of the season. It doesn't feel like we've had to wait too long since the last Old Firm, probably because this is only the fourth game of the domestic season um, in the league. Uh, it's a definitely different feeling heading into this Old Firm, isn't it? And I don't think anyone can, can deny that. I think both sides are going to tell you um, the exact same thing. This is a completely different scenario. And for the first time, maybe, um, since they, they first originally came back to the league, I think there's a real buzz around the, the game this Sunday. And I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited. We head to Parkhead, ready to take on Stephen Gerrard's Rangers for the first time, in which could be a highly uh, entertaining and um, interesting match to say the least, there's a lot on the line in this game, I think this is really going to give us a good picture, paint a real uh, good image for how the season is going to go this year, uh, and how much Rangers have really improved, uh, this is the real test for them, this is a real test for Steven Gerrard, uh, and there's a lot of discussion, I think this game is going to be far more focused on Rangers than it is Celtic, we, we know what we can do, we know what to expect, Celtic fans know what they want, we know what to expect, and you know, at the end of the day, at Parkhead, we should be expecting a result, but Rangers are coming into this game with so much vengeance on their mind, so much, you know, retribu retribution, so much to play for and so much to prove, because Rangers fans have had so much ambition, so much belief, so much, you know, confidence in their team since Steven Gerrard's came in, and this is really the first big test that they are getting. Both teams have started the season fairly similarly, um, there's been no much of a difference between us, I would say, although you're going to get this, and I'm, I, this is no bias towards Rangers and Rangers fans, I have plenty of Rangers fans who watch the channel, I get along with a lot of Rangers fans, uh, obviously CJ, will, he'll have his match prediction, to probably go watch that and such, I talk to him all the time, look, the, the, the game this Sunday, I think, I need, a lot of Rangers fans are going to give you this image that, that, and if you're not a, an old firm fan, if you don't support Celtic or Rangers, you're going to get this image painted by the media, painted by a lot of fans on Twitter and such, that Celtic are in the fucking, the, the shithouse, you know, we're in a fucking six foot grave, and Rangers are flying sky high, look, we are above Rangers in the league, and I'm not going to use that as a fucking argument, because I hate it, I hate it when, you know, Rangers, you know, win the first game of the season saying, and we draw, and they're like, oh, we're above you, after one game, look, we're three games in, but we have had a statistically better start than Rangers, we are both at the same point in Europe, um, really the thing that is mostly separated this is that lack of confidence that we've had in the board, the manager and such in the transfer window, and I wouldn't even say it's a lack of confidence in the manager, it's just the, the, just the board basically that's the only thing that's really setting us apart now, that the fact that we've had a little bit of a confidence issue, whereas Rangers are flown with it, they've made so many signings, they have improved a lot, where, whereas we've only made, you know, one, two signings and uh, really the squad is at the same point but that's the thing, the squad's at the same point, this is a squad that won back-to-back -back trebles. A lot of people are tending to forget that. Yes, we can be upset. Yes, we can be we can be annoyed that we've not went in our transfer window. We've not signed players. We've not improved. Whereas Rangers have went made 10, 11 signings and improved their squad all round. But at the end of the day, our team is a team that has demolished, picked apart, uh, embarrassed Rangers on numerous occasions and uh, won back-to-back -back trebles, winning every trophy in Scotland had an invincible season. So we have to look at the bigger picture going into this game. Rangers are the team playing catch-up. We are the team that is miles and miles ahead. And uh, I think today, um, after the transfer window shots, um, and after the game last night, Celtic put on a very good performance. It has boosted a lot of people's confidence. I don't see why we lack so much of it heading into this game. There's always a reason to be sceptical. There's always a reason to be anxious heading into an old firm game. It can sway any way. You never know which way it's going to go. Um, but at the end of the day, a lot of people were getting so worked up and so nervous about our team, when really it was just the back line having that stupidity and the problems that was really causing it. But now I think we're getting our act together, we're shaping up, and I think we're going to be up for this game on Sunday, and Celtic and Rangers both have something to prove now. Because Celtic have that, that weight, that expectation of, oh, you know, they're, they're, they've not been as good as Rangers, they're, they're, they're down, they're, they're not as good as what they've been over the last two seasons. But in reality, you know, the season's just started. Yes, we didn't make the Champions League. At the end of the day, we don't make it every season. Sometimes we're just not good enough. We had fitness issues. We had, uh, you know, Dedrick Bayata throwing out his toys at the pram. You know, we had a lot to deal with that week that was, you know, helped or didn't help even our, our, our consequences and our situation heading into that Champions League tie, which is one of the reasons we were knocked out. But the game on Sunday, it's going to be massive. It's going to be very, very interesting. I would love to imagine this is the game where we bring Rangers back down to earth. Will we do that, though? It's a completely different story. Completely different. I think this is going to be the closest old firm we have seen 
in God knows how long. Yes, Rangers have ran us close a couple of times with former managers. Uh, we had the 0-0 draw at Parkhead. We had the 1-0 draw at Parkhead. We, we narrowly beat them at Hamden, although we dominated them that day. We've had close encounters, but it's never really felt like that. It's never really felt like there has been competition because at the points that we did play them and we got those draws, we were already strides above them in the league. We were already miles ahead. There was no chance of Rangers catching us. So really, there was nothing to it. If Rangers did go and beat us in those games, what did it mean? It meant nothing. It just meant they got a little bit of bragging rights, didn't it? That was it. But this time, if Rangers do go into this game on Sunday, they get a result and somehow do beat us at Parkhead. You know, the league could go anywhere this season. That's where, that's the point where I think then I will pick up my head and go, right, we're off of a serious challenge here. Because right now I still feel Celtic are the better side. I still think we're the better team and I'm still confident we'll go on to win the league title this season. But Sunday could completely change that. Completely change that. It could blow me away. Uh, Steven Gerrard has undoubtedly came into Rangers and improved them because I've had two jokes of managers Mark Walbert and Pedro Cachini and then Graham Mutti in between didn't help whatsoever three absolute shambolic messes um, which you know really made them a laughing stock but Steven Gerrard's came in he's brought in his own men and now he's got a team that might actually challenge us but on the other hand is it false hope are Celtic going to walk all over them again on Sunday is Brendan Rodgers going to sit the team down and say look we've not had the I don't, I don't buy into this whole, we've had a horrible start to the season. I really don't. I know we were beating off Hearts, but Hearts are a hard team to play. They pumped us 4-0 last year. We still won, won the league by, what, 20 points? Uh, so, I mean, we got knocked out of the Champions League. Fair enough. But at, this, at the same time, we're, we're, you know, we've statistically had a better start than Rangers. So, I'm not buying into this whole Gerard is, Gerard is outperforming Celtic in a minute. Because he's no. We're both in the Europa League group stage. We're both similarly performing in the in the in the, 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 the league. So I mean this whole debate that the media is building that Gerard is overshadowing Rogers at the minute, I just don't buy into. But Rogers can sit the team down and go, look, what the media's been saying. Fuck them. Let's go and prove today that we are the better team we always have been and always will be. Let's just prove that this is the same Rangers. If Gerard can sit uh, sorry, Rogers can sit the team down, get that message drilled into the head, we could go out and butcher Rangers once again this Sunday. It's possible, but at the same time, I'm already expecting a close game. I think the reality of a 4-1, 5-1, 5-0 victory is probably far less, you know, reasonable this time around. Far less reasonable. I've been sitting there every old firm heading up in the last two years, heading up to it going, ah, we can do that again. This time it's a wee bit more, you know, closer game. I think Rangers will run as tight. The thing is, are Rangers going to lead into their same mistakes? I feel like one of the things that always costs Rangers the game and always benefits us is the fact that, you know, they, they go out the first 10 minutes, they, they, they try and, you know, bust down the doors, they try and score goals, they try and just power, power effect, getting forward, waste all their energy, then after 15 minutes Celtic just toy a bit with them, start passing around. Dot, 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 bang, go. And then the, the Rangers heads drop. That's what seems to always happen. And I feel like Rangers might get ahead of themselves again and we might have to deal with that. And that plays into our hands unless they do get a goal early. I mean, the first goal is always what matters. And we need to get that first goal. What we need to, we need to ensure, we need to drill into that back line's head is no fucking stupidity. No mistakes. You know, like, we can't have Dedrick Boyata doing what he done in March. You know, with a ball at his feet and then getting it right to Windass and then he goes through and, sco through and go scores a goal. We can't have that. We, ha we need to drill all of that out of the team. This Sunday is so important for, for both teams, but for Celtic it is to, you know, I want us to send a message. I want us to get it through to those bastards that we are still on top. Because I know we are, and I think the team know they are, but we just need that ground to prove it. We need to bring the Rangers' confidence level down a bit. Send them back down, you know. Send them back down a wee bit, just... Back to Middle Earth. Something like that, you know. Um, in reality, we could play our strongest team. I don't imagine the belly will come into the team because of the whole fiasco that's going on at the minute. I mean, I could make a video separate about that. I'm not going to get into it all in this video because ultimately it's my predictions for the game this Sunday. Um, but both teams are going to line up with strong, uh, strong lineups. Um, at the end of the day, Rangers aren't the strongest at the back either. We need to exploit their weaknesses. Against Motherwell, they conceded three goals. Three, three goals that were, you know, defensively stupid to concede. Steven Gerrard made tactical mistakes. He made a substitution at a corner. You know, that's a kind of unwritten rule. You know, you don't make a sub at a corner. And Gerrard done it and it cost him a goal. I, I mean, maybe not that specifically. It was just a poor defending from the set piece. The first goal, goals in Slitton. It was a proper, you know, shambolic mistake that we need to avoid. They were goals that could be pre prevented. They're not that strong at the back either. Um, they've been doing well in the European qualifiers. Fair enough. Shutting up shop, getting the job done. Um, but I feel like it's a defence that we can easily exploit and get goals out of if we get our players playing their best football. It's a team, the, the type of players like Roger, Edward, Forrest, they can terrorise those defenders. They can do it, easily do it. I know they can. 
Um, if they've just been their best football, just don't fall asleep. Don't be lackadaisical on the day. We have one of these flat performances where they think the game's done from the off. They need to go and play as if it is a proper fucking, you know, Champions League night. Let's get a fucking good result. Let's get a 4 0 if we can. In reality, I think it's going to be a close game. I think it'll be 2, two 1, 3 1, something like that. I think we'll win the game, though. I don't see them cutting Parkhead. Maybe if it was Ibrox, it'd be a completely different story. Um, but, I mean, the fact is that Parkhead, I'm, I'm in full faith that we can go and win this game. The team, I think we're going to start with the strongest team. You know, this, you know we're making signings as well. Malumbu and, and Benkovic are coming in. Is it, is it Benkovic? I think it's something like that. Philip Benkovic. They could play. I doubt they will play, though. I think we're going to see a very similar team to what played uh, last night. If we can perform the way we did against Sudova last night, I think Sudova, yep, weaker opposition than Rangers. are probably not as good a team. So, you know, it's you know a, a, a bit weird to compare the two sides and the performances and such. But if we can hit the teamwork and the levels uh, that we played yesterday... I think we can walk all over Rangers once again. We played very well last night. It was a real eye opener. Uh, and Rangers, they you know they, they went down nine men and struggled to get through. And that's you know two draws in a row. We are coming off two wins in a row. The confidence has suddenly changed in a week, I would say, for the two squads. But Rangers have got to be all up for it. We've got to be ready for that. But we've also got to be all up for it. I think Gordon will play. My prediction for the starting lineup, as I always do: Gordon, Lustig, Boyata, Ayer, Tierney. I think that's going to be the back line. I don't think there's any question about that. Uh, Forrest to start on the right. I think McGregor's going to take on that same kind of role where he plays in the left. Uh, Browning and Cham. I think Rogic will start the game, and I think Edward's going to start up front. Despite no, well, actually, it could be Griffiths. I don't think it's going to be Dembele. I don't think it can be Dembele after this week. Griffiths has come off the back of scoring a goal, and Edward's not played because of fitness issues. So actually, I think Griffiths might start the game. If he does, he needs to get his fucking head out his arse, his finger out his arse. Because yes, he did score, it was a set piece though. He's still missing chances, he missed a lot of chances last night. He, he, he didn't play spectacularly, and he's not in a while. He's not gave the sort of performances that makes you think of a goal-scoring threat, Lee Griffiths, that what we want him to be. That's why I'd like Edouard to start, but because of fitness issues, I think Griffiths will actually start the game. I think that's the team that's going to start. My prediction for the actual game itself, I'm going to go 3-1 Celtic. I'm going to go 3-1. But it's going to be interesting. I'm looking forward to it. For the first time, I feel like there's a true hunger back from both set of supporters. There always is a hunger, but this is like big hunger because this could really set the tone for the season. It really could. Buzzing. Let me know your opinions. Let me know your predictions. Like and subscribe, all that good shit. It's going to be a good game. Make sure to fucking watch it. I just think we're going to win, lads. But you never know. It's always an interesting game. See you all next time.